Okay, so here is a list of people off the top of my head that can count to three. Thanos, The Count, 3-6 Mafia, The Three Wisemen, Your Nephew playing Hide and Go Seek, Big Shaq, Donald Trump- Actually, I cannot confirm if this is true. But you know who definitely cannot count to three? I'm not saying that it's physically impossible to count to three, what I mean by this is that basically every Valve game except for a couple exceptions have yet to have a third installment to finish their trilogy. I knew about this and kind of moved on until recently when I was playing Portal 2 with my buddy and it made me really upset that there isn't a third Portal. I mean, look at how much fun this game is. Oh, I'm bad at this game. <laughs> I have controls. Say please. No. You bully. Yeah, too easy. <laughs> Alright, hold still. You're such a- Oh! Oh! What are you doing? <laughs> why would you do that? <laughs> why? Why? Alright, I'm in. How are you in? How'd you get in? Magic. Oh. No. Help okay. me through. Oh my, <laughs> my god. god sorry. I didn't know! For that, Blue receives 14 science collaboration points. I received what? points! My turn to hit my turn. Wait, I think having points is bad though. Is it really? Alright, check it out. Check out what I'm not gonna do. Ah, nice. Is this mower here? That'd be 500 V-Bucks in Fortnite. I need a third one ASAP. Let's just look at these beautiful games. Portal, Portal 2, nothing. Left 4 Dead, Left 4 Dead 2, nada. Team Fortress, Team Fortress 2, nothing, nothing, nothing. Dota 1, Dota 2, and now there's a Dota card game? Half-Life, Half-Life 2, Half-Life 2 Episode 1, Half-Life 2. Two episodes. What the? F These are all classics and have a lot of loving fans that would instantly buy a sequel. So what gives? Nobody really knows, but my guess is that they've been focusing heavily on Steam. And since that's such a cash cow because that's basically the only place to buy games, they wouldn't really need a new game. I hope it's not true and they're not that greedy. I mean, game companies these days though, am I right? Remember, we won the Consumerist Worst Company Award for 2012 and 2013, beating out Nestle, the oil industry, and big tobacco. And <laughs> people say gamers aren't entitled. Or maybe it's the individual games. Maybe they don't actually warrant a sequel. I mean, let's look at the four that I mentioned before. It has been six years, and I really think people would be very much into a Portal game. I mean, maybe even on the Switch? I feel like that's like a match made in heaven. Just saying. Okay, so zombies may have been oversaturated years ago when they were relevant. <laughs> Walking Dead, God, that so sucks. But if any series can bring it back, it's Left 4 Dead. And I know, I know I said that with Portal and the Switch, that would be a match made in heaven, but like, let's think about it. You could literally play two players or four players on like the Switch and stuff. Like, I just feel like Nintendo and Valve, they could just make some beautiful trilogies. I mentioned Valve's greediness before, only because I've seen it firsthand. If you ever played Team Fortress, you should know about the fact that they have a lot of cosmetics, and I'm talking about the hats. And they've been making a lot of money off this, so I don't think Valve is gonna give up on Team Fortress anytime soon. We pretty much already got the third one anyway, that's what Overwatch basically is. Overwatch is Team Fortress 3. Great, now all these fanboys are just gonna go down in the comments and be like, Team Fortress is better than Overwatch, or Overwatch is so much better than Team Fortress, you just, can we, can we not? Thank you, please, thank you. So last but not least is Half-Life. Half-Life is the original series that Valve made and they made really, really, really great games. We're talking top notch, we're talking high critical acclaim. So they may not have aged too well, they're not as fun as they used to be, honestly, but they would definitely look great with new graphics, better game mechanics, everything would be so fun to play. So why has it been over a decade since they made a Half-Life game? At this point, I feel like the hype is almost dead. It's just such a long wait and most people have moved on to bigger and better games in the past 10 years. It has become a meme at this point. Half-Life 3 is literally a meme. There have been so many good story-driven games like Uncharted, The Last of Us, God of War- Wait, why are these all PS4 exclusives? Oh god. At this point, Half-Life needs to come out and it needs to be amazing, cause if it's not, it won't be worth the wait, and it'll be honestly a disappointment. Oh god. I just realized that the vast majority of you guys are probably even- You're probably too young to have ever even played these games. Oh man, I'm so old. <laughs>
Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Team Fortress 2, and Portal. Three great games, one orange box. Coming in October. Three great games. Three great games.